Mandy, award-winning makeup artist from London, who also works internationally amongst the Fashion Week celebrities. And she is going to talk us through a natural look for uh, the lovely Marissa from BMA Models. Um, so where would you start with your natural look? Okay, well, basically what I did beforehand was I, I put a, a lovely um, primer on the skin first. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put a light veil foundation. It could be anything. It could be uh, concealer. It could be or concealer alone. It could be part of foundation, mm -hmm. cream foundation, or liquid foundation. How do you make the decision of what to use? Um, I go by the skin. I mean, I'm lucky today. I have Melissa, and she has amazing skin. Mm -hmm. So basically, she didn't need a lot of work. She didn't need any, any concealers. All she needed was just a light veil foundation. So I use just to enhance her. Yeah. So I started with a light veil first, and now I'm going to use the contour. I'm yeah. going to show you how that's done. Okay? So this is my contour here, and in, in here I have, we have all the colors that you're going to need. Basically, okay. this one contour does everything. And um, in terms of the contour contouring mm -hmm. kit, this is mm -hmm. your own contouring kit? It's my own contouring kit, but it's not just a contouring kit. Mm -hmm. It conceals and it corrects as well. Okay. All right. And um, in terms of ingredients and, and product, can, can you tell us a bit more about the product? Well, that's a good question because it's a very, very natural product. It's completely, um, we only use uh, botanical uh, minerals in there. Uh -huh. We don't use any uh, artificial products. There's no um, parabens. You guys know what parabens yeah. is, right? Mm -hmm. There's no uh, testing on animals. Yeah. We just use pure mineral, basically pure mineral. So you you could actually sleep with this on, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. But I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. <laughs> okay. All right. So so what I've designed, I've designed something that you can go into go into your handbag. It's quite easy to go in a handbag and go on holiday if you go anywhere in, anywhere. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to, you can have each individual color. And these are all made up yeah. on the spot in front of you. It's actually a, be a bespoken, bespoken service, exactly. So these colors here would work perfectly with most skin tones, including yeah. Indians, mm -hmm. um, Europeans, yeah. very, very darkest, beautiful mucker skin. Mm -hmm. And of course, the cocoa latte color tone, <laughs> like these gorgeous ladies here. Okay, so the good thing is you can use your fingers or you can use a brush, or you, can yeah. use, you can use sponges or beauty blenders. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do it with a sponge, with a brush. All right, I hope it's just my fingers, but I think it's nice with brushes. So I'm going to start with really darkest color first, because with contouring, the idea is to, um, first of all, you, you maximize things that you don't want, you know, showing up. So if mm -hmm. you happen to have, I don't know, a sh a, 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 <laughs> I hate saying this, but you have to have a, a full face, yeah. and you want the face, you want to slim line the face, yeah. you'd work on the dark tones in doing that. So basically, yeah. you think of yourself like, Think of an artist, you, you, your face is in the light and you want all the highlights on the, on the areas that hit the light. So yeah. if I look at yourself in the mirror, you'd see that you need to highlight your forehead, your nose, under your eyes, and just a little bit of the chin here. Yeah. Those are like the, the, the more important part to highlight. And of course, under the eyes. Yeah. yeah. And then so that brings everything to the light, that brings everything up. But the contouring idea is to bring everything, take things away. Yeah. So we work about, we work on the actual, you know, um, the definition of the face. So yeah. basically, if you turn, for me darling, if you um, work like you're using a figure three, so you have this and it goes like that, that's a three. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to take the contour and gimmick that so you can see how it works. So with the contouring, mm -hmm. what I've seen a lot is people are almost contouring a completely different shape to their face rather than enhancing the natural shape because I wow. thought with contouring it's designed to enhance the natural shape of the face so mm -hmm. you still look like you um, whereas what you now see people are going as far as um, having a completely different face mm -hmm. so that means the makeup comes off mm -hmm. you won't recognize yourself what do you think about that right well you know contour was something that always we always use that um, technique um, in, in makeup it's like since year dot basically yeah it's an old hollywood 
way of bringing um, again light to the face, especially in black and white films. It yeah. works excellent in black and white films. So it's always been like the secret for years. Yeah. Of course, a certain young lady, and I have to mention, I just going to say the initials, KK. Her makeup artist bought out. Yeah. They took out. They, they they just told a story to everybody. Yeah. So now everybody wants to go contouring crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But some contouring does look dreadful. If yeah. it's not done right, if you don't think about the colors, just pan it on. It looks like you know. Sad to say, a real bad drag queen makeup. Yeah. That's a, that's a bad contour. Yeah. But what you need to do with contour is to use it to your best advantage and use it to to, you know really bring out the best part of your face really mm -hmm. okay so as i've left kind of like a mark here yeah with a contouring stick the dark tones that you would work yeah mm -hmm. and basically what you do with that so you take the brush or your fingers i mean i prefer to use my fingers of course guys <laughs> right but i would use a brush and you would blend it yeah now melissa is not really a great um what's the word person for demonstration because everything's perfect on her so <laughs> <laughs> really and truly you know what I mean she's perfect so I don't have to redo this but yeah. just to demonstrate how it works yeah okay so Marissa when you go for go see some people um, say you should go completely naked mm -hmm. and um, some say if you do wear makeup it should look like like um, it's completely Natural. naked. What do you choose to do? Do you come bare face completely, or do you tend to do what Karen now does, for example, and just create an, a glowy natural base? Well, I've done both. Mm -hmm. um, I have gone without makeup, but mm -hmm. I just don't feel right. So I do the sort of very basic natural makeup mm -hmm. now, sort of dewy skin. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel better doing yeah. that. How does it work for you? It does work very well, actually. So you book more gigs coming before? I, ha I have noticed that, yeah. yeah. And the other extreme is don't go with makeup. Yeah, like full on face, yeah. yeah. Just don't go at all, they, they don't like that. Yeah, because you can't see the natural beauty. No. And it does look as though you're trying too hard. You're supposed to sort of turn up yeah. you know, as natural as possible, like a blank canvas. Exactly. Okay. So what I just done, did just now, yeah. is I used the highlighting, one of the highlighting sticks, the colour is in the compact also, and I use it on the areas that we want to bring to the light, which I was explaining earlier. Yeah. So I'm going to do it one more time so you can see what I've done. I, I like to do a highlight around the brow, yeah. so I bring it up towards that way. I do it around the eyes, I do it down the centre of the nose. And of course the forehead. Yeah. Some of like like tribal marks, you know. And then well then you know we darken this area here mm -hmm. to slim the jawline, but we don't we want to bring out the cheeks cheekbone that we're creating. Yeah. All right. And again, with your fingers or a brush, you just blend it in. The nice thing about working with mineral base product is almost it's almost like second skin mineral yeah. base. Yeah. There's no driving of the skin. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't pull, it doesn't block the pores, it's completely um, hypo... Um, Hypoallergenic. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. You're, so, you're so good with words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's just... And I've just done one And you don't feel like you're wearing anything, it I'm just feels like... I'm not feeling any difference light. Yeah. with this side where there's nothing on it. doesn't feel... I'm not feeling anything, yeah. which is good. So it's like your skin is mm. still breathing. Okay. So that's basically the whole idea of a contouring kit, yeah. basically, yeah? Now you might say what this yellow is for. I actually always come back to the yellow. It's like mm. a bright yellow. It's really pretty. And it's a, it's a good color to have in a kit. It's a neutralizer. Okay. So it, it can neutralize any color, including a light color or a dark color. Okay. You know, because yellow on the whole, most people who know color, yellow on the whole works much more natural as a contouring for most skin skin tones including dark skinned people as well okay it blends in better okay so i'm just i'm just using it to show you yeah. demonstrate it to show you she didn't actually need it but i'm yeah. going to show you how it works it's this one right here so i'm just going to use it around her eyes and when you see it almost looks like i've just add some light there yeah. but again it blends in with the skin tone yeah. before okay. you even blend it in this that's it quite because nice. that's it and i just blend it in 
and I'm done. It literally takes three to four seconds for the most. Done. You don't need a lot. Yeah. And you don't see it like once the brush goes over, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. That's my, that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> so which side do you like? Because this is the side that's made up. That's the side that's not. You can't tell. You can't. No. But there's a little something here that tells you there's a little some, something, something going yeah. on here, right? But on this side, you know, it's beautiful. It's her. Yeah. But you can make the it most. It just has a bit of a glow more than, than it doesn't change her face, but it has like a nice glow. Exactly, exactly. So then I would recommend that you just use a light fill powder. It could be anything of your choice. If you're gonna use mineral mineral makeup, stick to minerals, all minerals. Yeah. And I just I just like a very, very light powder. It's, the color is, is quite white, it's called a setting powder. And it goes with most skin tones. So I'm just gonna use that on her. And I just set it with that. You know with the white powder? Mm -hmm. You know when you get um, these celebrities that are caught out on the red carpet with uh -huh. the white around the cheeks or around the eyes? Yeah. Would that be the same white powder or mm. is it to do with the blending or is it the wrong powder that they're using for, you know? Again, a very event? good question. That's not the same powder. I have a powder here that, that I will show you in a minute mm -hmm. that works like that. The, the idea of a setting powder, it actually says setting on it. It mm -hmm. sets, it doesn't change the color of the foundation. So basically, like say I'm doing a shoot with M Melissa and I have to put on quite a few powder to keep her skin from going greasy. Yeah. yeah? The white powder is the best because it doesn't change the color of the foundation. It stays okay. true. Yeah. yeah. What you're talking about is called highlighting finishing powders. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the last powder you should put on your skin if you're going out and it's something for a special, like red carpet, mm -hmm. special occasions. I mean, you know, it's, it's really quite sad when you see these beautiful young girls on the street with all this makeup on. There's no need for it, really. Yeah. You know, keep it for special occasions. That's what it's there for. Yeah. So the, the light color you're talking about, um, I'm not going to call a name of it. But I'm going to explain it. So most people know what it is. It's a nice shade of yellow. Okay. <laughs> and the name is very yellowish. Most guys know what it is. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to plug nobody here. Right? <laughs> so you would use this now for the finish. So basically, look up, my darling. So around the eyes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why. You, when you use flash photography, this goes bright is because it has highlighting properties in it. Yeah. This particular powder is called luxury powder because it's there for the, for the red carpet, all the, gl all the glimmer, all the gl and you, you know, you know, bam! Yeah. But the trouble is, you, you might have put a little bit too much on. Okay. You didn't set your foundation properly. Yeah. And a certain flash has flashed it right out. Right. And that's where you get those ghastly, scary, ghostly so. looking ladies on the red carpet. How do you avoid that? Always good to use a good primer first. That's the key. Yeah. Honestly, good primer first. Set your makeup, blend your makeup properly. Yeah. Use good brushes. There's no sense using sponges and yeah. cotton. I see people in makeup bag, cotton buds, put it on powder. You don't do that. Yeah. Good brush. Allow the powder to really soak into the skin. Okay? Because I'm using the same color, believe yeah. it or not. Like, turns up in papers everywhere, uh, you know, real bad. Yeah. But because I've blended it, it's, it, it works well. Yeah. And then you just dust it all away. And that's it. Fab. Okay. Should I do the other side? <laughs> yes, please. We want to see the full finished product. Okay, I'm going to go around on the other side. I'm going to do it real quick. Pardon me. Okay, so basically, it was easy for me to just use the sticks, okay? So turn this way for me, darling. Do it that way. Do it that way. Yeah. So we've got a choice of two dark tones we can use. I'm going to use the darkest one. So remember what I said. You. You do the figure three, okay? So you have that. Like that. Yeah. You know what? Now that I'm standing on this side, Mm -hmm. This side actually looks more natural than that side because yeah. she created that, that, yeah, she created that, that actually looks like. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's getting fruitier. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the highlighting stick, guys. And it's just, again, same number three, 
but you're taking it higher. Put on ice. And then that. Basically, that's it. Yeah. And then you get your brush or your fingers and you blend it. Now, you always blend the dark tones into the hairlines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to see a mass type of makeup. It's not nice. Oh, now that you're saying that, you remind me of something. Have you seen a news craze in terms of um, your hair? Yes. To make your hair look more thick, to actually put the powder into <laughs> onto the skin underneath your hair. <laughs> Have you seen that? Never. No. <laughs> you need to check it out. That's like the latest craze that's going around on the internet. It, it thickens the hair, apparently. There seems to be a lot of Europeans that do it. Well, I mean, I, I do dabble in hair sometimes mm -hmm. and I do, if I'm doing a shoot with a, with a European, European hair and it's terribly greasy, mm -hmm. we, we put talc in the hair to stop the shine. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? No. They actually no. put like, for example, if you have a tone of blonde, they go for a lighter brown, which is darker than the blonde. Yeah. So visually, it actually looks like your hair is thicker than it actually is, you know, because some, some people have really fine thin hair and you mm -hmm. see more of the scalp. So if they figured out, if you put some <laughs> darker powder on it, it looks fuller. Well, that is crazy. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah. And what's it called? I'm not sure what, it, what they call it. But Remember the color tone, guys? The yeah. yellow? If you Google some of the terms, mm -hmm. you'll find it out. I'm going to check it out because I need to see that because that's going to be, that's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, makeup has gotten, you know, I've been doing makeup for 30 years and makeup has changed so much since. You know, people have gone crazy with makeup. I, I remember when you couldn't even get, you know, you couldn't get, and I hate saying this, you couldn't get a dark-skinned person to put on makeup. Yeah. You had to beg them to put mm -hmm. makeup on. I mean, yeah. and it's a lot to do with, with church and all sorts of things, you know, believes. But now, everybody and their mother is a makeup artist. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're going makeup crazy now. Yeah. What do you think about that, Marissa, with the makeup? Well, it certainly got better, to be honest, because, yeah. you know, I'd say probably 10, 20 years ago, you couldn't get really good pigments for darker skin. Yeah. But it used to sit flat on your face, yeah. and it was quite sort of um, grey looking. Yeah. But now there's so much lovely, rich colours that... Actually match your skin. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, makeup has gone a long way, mm. and, um, and it still has a lot... A lot more to be created for, for yeah. especially for darker skins, you know. Mm. Um, I mean, back in the day, there used to be companies that really ruled the roost as far as makeup is yeah. concerned, and only one or two. Now you have a few more, mm. but it's still not enough because I don't think people realize that, um, especially for darker skins, um, there's so many different shades in our totally. ethnic mm. minority. I mean, we're not, we're not just one color, yeah. you know. That is not going to switch every single dark skin person out there you know there's like a whole spectrum of colors and there's more growing every time and then yeah. you guys are all you know you have mixed heritage mm -hmm. mixed her heritage mm -hmm. that's another color being born every five minutes close to i would say five thousand shades of black skin that's amazing yeah and when you think there's only like four or five real companies that cater for us mm -hmm. that's not good enough yeah you know? agree. that's where i come in <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting with, I'm still starting with the powder. That's the white powder I used. And just setting it up. Okay, I put a little bit on the eyelids. And of course, I have to demonstrate that uh, yellow powder again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look up. So I'll demonstrate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite other the product so far, Marissa? Sorry? What's your favorite other the product so far? I think the, so far, the, this palette. The contouring kit. Yeah. yeah, she knows where it's at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so that's basically the look, you know, from the palette, and then from that, I would say to go to use like a, a, a nice Hicks sunkissed bronze on the skin. Yeah. And I thought of that. I have two wonderful colors there. Oh, nice. That again created by me, and I was demonstrating on her. Would that be okay? okay? Yeah, of course. Well, the good thing is the bronzers, and a lot of people. Especially, again, people of, 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 of ethnicity don't believe that bronzers were made for us. They think bronzers were made for anybody mm -hmm. other than... Mm -hmm. That's not true, ladies. We can, we, can use, <laughs> we can use bronzers. And bronzers look so much more natural and better on us. 
because what it does, it just adds a bit of a light to the skin tone. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm talking about because, you know, I could stay here and talk forever, but you need to see it on, really, to see how it works. So I've got a nice big okay. brush for that. We don't want too much. Okay. I'm going to start up. No, I'm going to start with a smaller brush. I like to start things small. So I'm going to go through a little bit, dip it, dip it into my bronzer. Mm -hmm. And my so bronzer... So you're going to put a darker one? Mm. Yeah, we're dark. Because I'm going to use the bronzer like a contour. Okay. But that was my secret. Oh. I just told you guys now. So I'm going to... Now I told you, I'm going to have to kill you. That's my secret. <laughs> All right, so... Basically, we're going to use it as a contour, guys. So you follow. Look how it just lifts. You see? Yeah. Now, it might be a little bit too much, if you're thinking. That's all right. Get a nice clean brush and blend it. How's that? Yeah. That's good? It's actually a really nice color on you. Now, she could just use that color alone. Yeah. Or you could put a highlighting color with a small brush. Just on top. The idea is we have so much choices now. Where's my little brush? Let me just use that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use that one. Okay. So this one's like, like a crystal color. Both my colors have names. The first one I used on her was it's called Bronze Goddess. So you can see why. Mm -hmm. It's real bronze, it's a real goddess. And this one's called Sun Kiss. So this this one again, the the mineral base. Yeah. The, you know, we use only crystals, the best in crystals mm -hmm. and mineral, mineral stones. There's no talc in, the, in these. There's none of that horrible stuff that breaks you out. Nothing like that. These are all natural, okay? So with the lighter shade, you put it on the top, like a highlighter. You see that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And it collects the light again. And if you happen to put too much, like I just done, yeah. you just use a brush and dust it away, and it's just, you just want to sun yeah. kiss. That's why it's called sun kiss. Yeah. It's just like you've been kissed by the sun. Okay? And what I'm really proud about also is that my products are multi-use, basically. Yeah. So I don't just, I, just, I don't go, I go all the way, I don't go halfway. Basically, you can use this as a face bronzer. Mm -hmm. You can use it as a blusher. Yeah. You can use it for eyeshadow. And if you put a little bit of a lip balm, you can mm -hmm. use it as a lipstick. Okay. That's the beauty. Okay? Yeah. So let's show me show you a little bit how it's gonna look on the eyes. This is still a natural look, guys. We are going, I'm not going crazy with color, just using the uh, the bronzes as an eyeshadow. And I'm gonna choose a lighter shade. Okay. So basically I follow the socket and I blend it in around the socket. That's it. Open first. Let's have a look. How pretty is that? Yeah. You could put all, put, put it in mascara, okay. eyeliner. You can hint, you can you can bring it all mm -hmm. out. You know, it's up to you. The choice is yours. I think that's my favorite product. It is. Yeah. It's mine too. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you said it. All right. Okay. And that's your makeup for the day. You know, guys. Honestly, keep it nice and simple. You know, keep it yeah. real. You don't need nothing too heavy. Exactly. Keep it, Keep it me. Keep it me. Keep it whatever. All right. So I'm just brushing my eyebrows up. That's basically literally it. And now for the best part is my lipsticks. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you like it? Just see. Oh, you want to see me? I yes. <laughs> see. She needs to see it. Oh wow. <laughs> see, I do. <laughs> I thought there'd be more of makeup and it is just me. Yeah. It is still you, baby. Yeah. And yeah. it looks so natural. It does. You know what it? I meant when I said earlier, um, it, it um, actually gives you more depth and you look more natural with it on. It's really... See, now if I went to a shop, those colours, not they wouldn't scare me, but I think, is it too dark? Is it, you know, especially the contouring thing. Yeah. Let's do the side. Come on, top. You could talk. Yeah, I'd, I'd be scared of... Well, uh, using, yeah, using such sort of um, different colours, but yeah. you don't actually notice it at all. No, you don't. No. That's the beauty. And you can sleep in this, you can go out with this. You, yeah. So much you can do with this. You don't have to, uh, you know, you're not restricted with it at all. I'm going to do a little bit on the eyes. And um, 
just to even, we just even her out because yeah. she looks a bit half done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave you to the evening her out. Mm -hmm. I think you guys seen, you know, what a natural look is all about. It is about keeping it you, bringing out the best in you, not covering you up. So, um, thank you for the instructions. Mm. And thank you guys for joining us.